but came back to the cabin after three months and uh, and we don't have hot water so I'm boiling water right now so I can take a shower this is this is the most uh, rustic thing I think I've ever done got two pots right now boiling gonna get them warm enough so I can take a solo cup put it over my head wake up take a shower last night it was 37 degrees it's June 1st what the f we got here a few days ago just kind of cleaned up the cabin it was an absolute mess I thought about filming uh, but it's just it wasn't it the cabin was in all sorts of disarray but no, we're looking good. She's clean, got the boat ready. Today we might even buy a Can-Am UTV for the cabin. You know, we always need a new toy, so we might do that. Most importantly, we're probably gonna get out and do some fishing, so let's get this warm, water warmed up and take a shower. And let her go. Here, give it to me, I'll do it. Well guys, welcome back to Maine. You probably have not seen this here cabin in the summertime and to be truthful, neither have I. I bought this place in the winter. I bought it in December, uh, just kind of on a, it sounds ridiculous what I'm about to say, but I bought it on a whim. I wanted to have a place up north so I could escape the heat in Texas and that's exactly why we're up here right now. We got a whole crew. We got the Cole Burford, we got A.P. Bassin, whose hair is looking just like a bargain. <laughs> He's looking like a bargain bin Justin Bieber. And then we've got uh, Jake Newman over there. TikTok star. Entrepreneur, and then we've got Alex Foman, Lucky Sierra, and then of course myself. For the next, I mean, for the next few weeks, we're gonna be up here fishing, filming, just getting after it, enjoying Mother Nature. We got 30 acres of just beautiful lush land, and of course we've got the cabin. So you guys will see some crazy stuff these next few, uh, these next few weeks, and these next few videos. I'm pretty excited. This is like day number one of us filming up here. Right now, we're gonna go pick up a new toy. The sleds are great, but they're pretty much useless when there's no snow on the ground. So we got to get something that we can rip around in the land with. So that's exactly the first mission we're gonna go on. Hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy. Wiener, let's go. Let's do that. It's a little dusty. Oh my god. Well, at least I've got new fresh ground to plant grass. So what are you thinking, Cole? What are we getting? Can Am and Polaris? What does Polaris make? There's an ATV trail right by my house. You would be stupid not to get a mule. Yeah. We'd be literally dumb. And we can take that ATV trail, ATV trail all to a bunch of like good lakes and stuff like that. So as great as a foreigner is, you can't bring it on trails and you can't get into some tight knit spots where the fishing is primo. And that's one of the reasons why we're getting this mule. That and also it's just nice to have something on the property we can, you know, move land with and do donuts. Just make, basically do donuts. Like I'm yeah. just bullshit. I'm just getting into do donuts. Drink yeah, and do donuts. right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sick. Um, so what do you, we're looking for Can-Am, four-seater, okay. uh, just something that's practical, something that is practical that I can, that we can take Work on. and play. Work and play, okay. exactly. Again, it's, it's slim pickings, but this would do everything you wanted it to. Okay. Uh, 800. Okay. R model, power steering. Cool. Full dump bed. You can leave that down. Pull this. So if you had something really big you going in the back, you can just shut this. Shut this one, and then you can. So, that is. Coolers. That's neat. Yeah. Sounds good, buddy. Cool, cool. You want any accessories for it? Um. Well, what do you guys have right now? Like, oh yeah, maybe windshield probably. Yeah. That'd be pretty huge. Can you see yourself? Can you see yourself uh, flipping, sipping right a here, white claw right there as I drive? <laughs> as you flip. No, we're not gonna flip this. Well, it's actually. Oh, this is adjustable. I like that. I think this is. I think this is good. I think we found something. Would you buy this? Yeah. You wouldn't look at any of the other ones? No. I mean, for what... The comp, dude, the seats are mad comfortable. For what you're doing, I think you want this. Yeah, I agree. What do you got there? Oh, I just got the new uh, old noggin protector, some new shades. Uh, yeah, we're going with the 80s theme here. Derek, how long do you think it 
pretty stoked about it. Pretty stoked. I'm, I'm good to go. We're gonna come back here now if you want to get that now. Yeah, I'm check out. He's doing that. See you in a bit. Yeah, we're gonna get that trailer. So we bought the Can-Am. Well, we officially haven't, I mean, I paid for it. I don't have it yet. It's at the shop right now. It's getting, what are we getting, glass? Getting a windshield installed among, and a roof. And then that was, that was I think, free. Shout out to Bangor Motorsports for hooking it up. You guys are the best. But the problem is, is I don't have a trailer. So now we got to go buy a trailer for the Can-Am, bring it back to the property, do some brapping, do some exploring. Um, this is the boring part. We'll just get it. We'll just probably get that. We'll just get that one looks good, right? Yeah. Big tax. Big tax. Hey, big tax. Like, big te Texas. I like it. Big Texas. Right. I love it. Hey. So we've determined that the world is ending. You uh, you can't go outside. You can't go to a restaurant. Like COVID nineteen is just shutting everything down. And to make things worse, the entire city of Bangor is out of trailers. I don't have a trailer for my Can Am, and I'm trying to find a fourteen foot trailer. Anything over fourteen foot. Nothing. Everywhere is sold out. All the manufacturers are shut down. So we're going back to Bangor Motorsports after going to four different trailer dealerships. Zilch, been that idea. And we're gonna borrow one of their trailers so we can at least get the Can-Am on the, on the property and just rip it around for you guys, just film it a little bit. This is a disaster. I did not think it'd be this difficult, but I gotta, I gotta remember, I'm in Maine. All is well. Gotta keep calm, carry on. Um, is it right here? Yes, it is. 179.31. Oh yeah. This is it. seen someone so ready to rip before. All right, now comes the fun part. Let's test out the Can-Am. Put the wiener inside first. Let's make it a little messy. No wieners allowed on Can-Ams, right? Woo! No backup camera, huh? So the Can-Am runs, that works, that's good. Uh, we're not gonna lay on the beans, uh, not gonna be able to hoot with this thing because it's still in the breaking period. But what we are gonna do is, is ride the property, chop some shit down and just do some main stuff, you know? Great job. Yeah, a lot's changed. Just like what was that probably five months ago? No, less than two, like, three. Two or three months ago, we were ripping this trail with the snowmobiles. Totally fine. I guess the tree fell, so we gotta we gotta nip this in the bud. <laughs>
Look what we have here. I almost forgot about the trail cams. So apparently, uh, one of my buddies, Ryan, came and mowed my lawn two weeks ago, uh, and he said he saw a moose in my yard, which is pretty, pretty insane. It's pretty insane to think there's mooses just chilling in your backyard. But anyway, the reason why I'm saying this is because we may have got some cool stuff in this trail cam. It's been here for months now. Very least, maybe we'll see a doe or two. Does, does are pretty cool, right? That was fun, it was worth it. This is dead too. They're all dead. Brought to you not in part by White Claw. How insane is it? It's fun. Watch out for John and things that go fast, but it's it's good. It's he's gonna have a lot of fun. Isn't that a Rackley quote? I I don't know. Probably. I I, I don't think I'm the only person that knows that John is dangerous with fast things. I have broken her in. <laughs> She's broken all in, guys. Don't worry. They got Western. 100. No cap. Water inside the cabin. Everything. You're a little muddy, man. <laughs> he's a little muddy. <laughs> the guy at the dealership said one thing, he said, don't take it over 65 and make sure you break in the engine. Okay, we might have not done any of that. But what we did do is we had a lot of fun. Look at her, she's just, she's in her element. She deserves to be muddy. It's already a brown color, it's an army green color. Might as well just add a little bit of, a little mud cam on there. Who wants to go next? Oh, this looks fine. Yeah, we may have ruined a case of white claws, but it was all worth it. Um, do you want to try to go fishing real quick? What are you guys doing? Drop it off the trailer and go fishing? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta order some paintball guns. Alex is also gonna watch my wiener. Oh, sorry, wiener dog. Should have probably emphasized oh. the last part. The reason I bought this camp, this cabin, whatever you want to call it, up in Maine is so I could be closer to just some insane northern fisheries. We've been here for, I think this is the fourth day, we have not taken a single cast. Yeah. Just a lot to do uh, when you own a cabin in the middle of the woods. Just, yeah, a lot of errands, a lot of stuff we need to take care of, but now we're pretty much done. The last finishing touch was by the Can-Am, by the UTV, which we did. And now we're gonna go for a little afternoon sesh, try to find some small, maybe some brook trout as well. Uh, what do you think, fish the Kaduskeg or a little creek or something? What is that waterfall we keep driving past? Yeah, yeah, let's go peep that. So we're gonna bring two spinning rods, one fly rod, and we're gonna see if we can catch the first fish up the main sand. Here we are, welcome to the creek. This is the first time I've ever wet a line in open water here in Maine. It's a big moment. We may catch fish, we may not, probably are not, but we're gonna give it a go. We're on the Kanduskeg River right now, right off of Route 15. And I'm gonna try to catch a smallmouth or something. I don't know, we'll see. Got a little 7-4 spinning rod. See if we can entice something to eat. Let's give it a go. There we go. Oh no, I just had one. Oh, he's got it. Oh no, 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 no. Just had one, just had one, just had one. No way, that was so quick. What is it, Smalley? Nice. <laughs> I then got me a little Smalley, boys. First fish in Maine. That's my first like natural smallmouth to ever catch, like wild, if you will. Caught on the fly, a little woolly bugger. Got her done. Perfect. See buddy. <laughs> Sick. Okay, so I'm pretty sure those bites I had were little little tiny river smallmouth, so I'm gonna switch up to one of my favorite river techniques, that being a little Ned rig. I'm gonna use the net, rattling Ned. The Ned just kills these small river and creek smallies. There we go. Peanut butter and jelly. Rattling Ned. <coughs> I just thought I'd do the trick. There he goes, Smalley. <laughs> it's so sick, so sick. We're past the socks. We're good, we're just ice skating a little bit. Hot, hot, coming out the grease. There we go, I'm on. That's a good fish. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, this is a good fish. Nice smallmouth. Nice Smalley. Oh my gosh. 
This is not a, this is not tiny. <laughs> Look at this. Is that a smallie? Yeah, nice small mouth. Look at this guy. <laughs> Decent, eh? Very. Hey, there we go. First smallie of, is this his first mouth of the season? Yeah. I want to say it is. This is the first mouth of the season. This is my first ever open water main fish. <laughs> Just crushed the rattle and Ned. Not a huge fish, but for like our first ever mission, can you beat it? I don't think so. We've had quite the day. We bought a Can-Am, we explored the land, and now we got our first open water fish. See you later. Put her there. Big crush. Oh, we, just <laughs> we just totally try missed. that again. <laughs> love it. Gotta love Maine, baby. <laughs> so shallow. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Good in. Good in. Giant. Nice little smallie. Second one of the day for me. Just a little bit smaller than that last one. And by little bit, I mean a whole lot. Just a cute little dude though. It's so cool to just pick a random creek slash river off the side of the road and just catch fish. Like this is so cool. All right, Jimmy, see you later. Thanks for hanging. Come on, right there. That's, that's gotta be a fish. There we go. That's a decent feeling fish. What the, oh, there we go. There we go. Just a little, dude, they fight stupid hard in here. Like this thing's only a pound and it is just running. Oh. Love it. Bronze gold. Get over here. Look at that guy. A little bit, just a bit fatter than the last one. He fought like a mule. Like an absolute mule. I cannot believe how hard these smallmouth go. It's like they've never been caught before. There we go. Nice. Smallie number three. See you later, Jimmy. Oh, those things don't f around at all. At all. Jake just turns to me and says, well, the good news is we can only go up from here. Uh, wasn't a terrible session. I mean, I caught three smallmouth. Jake, you caught your, technically you caught your first smallmouth ever, right? First small ever, it was a whopping three inches, so we're gonna have to, I don't know, maybe not count that and just catch a, a toad tomorrow. But from here on out, we're gonna do a lot more exploring, a lot more fishing. I just figured today we need, just needed to start filming. Been here in Maine for a few days and I wanna intro you guys to the, to the new vlogs, the northern vlogs, as I'll be up here probably for a good three months. Um, I'll be back down in Texas here and there, but this is gonna be home, basically, Maine. Uh, Central Maine, it's gonna be the new spot for filming and fishing and sharing more adventures for you guys, but, um, yeah, I figured I'll use this opportunity to wrap it up. Drop a comment in the section below. Let me know what you want to see me film up here in Maine. Seeing as the boys are up here, like, sky's the limit. We can do some crazy stuff. We can do some remote fishing now that we've got the Can-Am. We could do, like, some off-road spots. Just kind of get crazy with it. But, yeah, like I said, drop a comment. Let us know, and we will make it happen. I appreciate the view. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. What the hell is going on? Well, we're about to catch this thing. Yeah, good idea. I'm glad we did that. Um, <laughs> John, hold, 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 what? Hold, John, hold, hold John, John freaking flipped the Can Am. I, I mean, jeez. I did not do this. No, uh, we well, just uh, pull we, backwards, we got backwards, a little backwards, we had, a, had a little too Sorry, much fun. Um, went a, went a little too hard. That's and, good. Uh, now she's on her side. We yep. uh, we sent it a little too damn hard, as they would say. Right. Yeah, go me. About to owe John about a. Uh, 20 grand probably, so that <laughs> dad's gonna be pissed about that one. <laughs> got it, got it. Woo! See? Hold on, is that my phone? That's why you buy a forerunner and a can am. Cause you can get all that shit done fixed. Hey, boys. Caught that in the face, hey good dude. news, good, good news, good news. Found my ass. <laughs> How's the can am looking? Yeah. She looks pretty good. Um, I would use she my... doesn't look. She looks good. Too bad. Like you, we can assess it again in the morning, 100%. Uh, hey, good time. Yeah. Let's just not do it again. No, hell no. Oh. Definitely.
Well, I don't know if I'll ever get behind that again. Not not doing donuts for sure. I looked up. I looked at Jake. I was like, <laughs> he's like, you fine? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> he felt me. Yeah, he's like this. He's like, I'm like, are you fine? He's like, yeah, I just can't get out. He's going like this, trying to grab the seatbelt. He's, like, oh he's like, I'm fine. I just can't get out. <laughs> I need you to move. Okay. What's funny is I took a picture and I meant to take a picture of him, but I took a picture of my face and this one turned out. I was like, nice. <laughs> I was like, this is like the kind of like happy but also very sad face. It's like, eh. I'm like, eh. Yeah, it's all good. Jake and I just flipped this UTV, this Can Am. I came in, I'm like, I'm hoping someone's awake because this is a very good moment for everyone to experience. And you're on your phone awake. You're awake on your phone. I'm like, boys, you want to see a f cluster? F because this is about it. This is about as good as it's going to get on my land. This is a big old cluster. F but you know what? Got it done. Got it done. Four Honor versus Can Am. Boom. Done. See you later. That was a good rep. I appreciate Team you. Team effort. I appreciate uh, you breaking the can uh, the uh, UTV. Yeah. Next time, uh, no more donuts in the in the front yard. Donuts on flat land only. Or on the 400. Or on the 400. Or on the 400. <laughs> yeah.